Hey guys, it's Marty from OwingsArt.com and I'm excited today because Wet Paint just gave me a couple of new products to try out from the Talons Company, that's the Royal Talons Company, based in the Netherlands. The two products today are watercolor markers and these liquid watercolor, I guess for lack of a better word, you could call them inks. I guess they come in a bottle, but we'll talk about that a little bit. So in today's demo, I'm going to use this Centenaire paper that my friend Anya sent me from Germany. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper. It's 140 pound. Thank you, Anya. This turns out this is really pretty good paper, and um, I wanted to uh, give it a try with these products. Now the first thing we're going to try out are these Talons Ecoline liquid watercolor marker brushes. They're not waterproof, which means you can relift them once you put uh, turn them into watercolor. You can go back and relift them and re-wet them. They're not very light fast. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but don't worry about that because they're not for you know finished work or anything like that. The markers aren't refillable, but you could figure out a way to do it if you're really industrious. They are dye-based pigments. Uh, they match the ink colors, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and they're not recommended for kids under the age of three or parents who don't want their kids uh, to dye uh, something in their house. So you can see here they go down just like regular markers, but when you add water, they turn into watercolor. And you can see here the dispersion of the paint is pretty good. Um, you see a little bit of remnant line underneath there, but that'll fade as I get into this demo. Here I'm going to mix a little bit of the color. It's kind of a cool, you can get some cool effects with these. Even if you, you know, use a little marker around the edge. And I'll get a green here from mixing the blue and the yellow, which I thought was pretty cool. And you can get sort of a fading effect with these as they, as you run them out along, yeah, just like that, along the line, which I thought was another interesting uh, quality of the markers. I think these behave a lot like the Windsor Newton watercolor markers, although I think those colors are a bit more um, light fast. The next thing I want to take a look at is these uh, water liquid watercolors. They come in little jars. There's 48 transparent colors. These match the markers, by the way. So if you pick up a marker and you want a color match, you can do that with these. Um, again, they're not waterproof, so you can lift the paint up after it's dried. They're not light fast. Again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, they are dye-based pigments, and they're not recommended for children under the age of three, although they are ASTM certified as safe, so that's a good thing. Quick look at the colors I'll use today. I will use a lemon yellow and... Let me see what else here what do we got here. A vermilion, a magenta, an ultramarine, a deep green, a let's see what is this here? A sky blue. The heck is this color? Oh, a sienna, a sienna, burnt sienna. And that was the color matching with the green there you saw. And a black. So the inks come in eight different colors. And here I'm just going to match out the green uh, and just add a little color to it. There, that's what you saw there. And I'm going to use my B paper book to try to, uh, well, actually to swatch out these colors, but I wanted to try it in the sketchbook as well as watercolor paper just to see if it behaved any differently, and it, it really doesn't. The one thing with the bottle ink or the bottle liquid watercolor as opposed to the brushes is it seems, you know, obviously because you're painting it in a more concentrated uh, way, it's going to come out a little bit more vibrant. Now here I'm just using a dip pen to go right into the ink which again this is another thing you can do with these obviously I said ink really I think talons will get mad at me it's really what they call liquid watercolor and it's in 
a dye-based formula. So you can see here I'm just kind of messing around with the dip pen, do a little lettering here. Time for a little comparison. People want to know how these stack up and you know Royal Talons makes a lot of products and acrylics and obviously transparent watercolors so I'm just trying to compare the colors uh, in the transparent watercolor line with these watercolor brushes and you know they're not that uh, different. As you can see there's kind of a muted uh, tone to these I guess is for lack of a better word which is kind of cool. Now the four colors I forgot to mention Oh, by the way, these are like Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiance. And just comparing those against the raw liquid watercolor from the bottle. And you can see there's not a ton of difference. I mean, they're very, very vibrant and concentrated when they come from the, from the bottle. Now, you could get that effect with the marker. You just have to add more marks. So that's the Radiant. And I'll give you the marker colors in a minute here, but now here's Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus water, uh, what you call watercolor ink or fine art watercolor liquid. You can kind of see there, pretty much the same. So the colors I used in the marker were a deep yellow, a deep green, a reddish brown and an ultramarine deep. So here I'm going to try to re-wet uh, the cyan color. This is what I applied earlier from the bottle. And you can see it re-wets very nicely. Now the lifting isn't going to work so well on there because it's a pretty hard edge and it's concentrated. But I assume you know uh, that you would be able to lift if you were a little bit lighter in the in the in the hard edge there. This introductory set happens to come with eight 30 milliliter uh, bottles, so that's kind of cool. So again, just to recap the brush markers and liquid colors here, um, if you go over to Talon's website, and uh, there's a whole line of these, Eco Line Brush Pen, you just click on the brush pen, and that's at the top because obviously Talon's is introducing these to the market and the price point is really good on these so and we'll talk about that in a second too but i spoke about light fastness a little while ago not every art product you buy is meant to hang in a gallery for 400 years matter of fact most paintings you see in a gallery they've been retouched and repainted so many times uh you'd probably be shocked if you knew the truth uh, especially watercolors because uh, they tended to fade a lot more with the earlier uh, versions of watercolor but um, the thing with this new product is it's really not meant to be a permanent thing you know use it in your sketchbook use it for thumbnails and things like that just to get ideas of color value and stuff like that but yeah you know, again or storyboards even but not really for permanent pieces so they come in a variety of different sets up to a 30 marker set which is pretty cool and then you can get these smaller sets of the ink this happens to be a six pack, which is probably a good variety of color um, because a lot of the primaries are in there. You can make your own colors. So the markers are, and inks are available uh, right here, $3.95 at wet paint. The ink is $6.25 each. Now here's the deal. If you buy five markers right now at wet paint, go to their website, you get a bottle of the ink free. So they'll just throw that in. And you've got a $6.95 flat rate, or if you buy $99 worth of stuff, um, it's free. So that's probably a really good way to try out this liquid watercolor. I'm going to call it ink right there. Talons, please don't get mad. But you won't need any special code. All you have to do is order the five markers, and wet paint will throw the bottle of ink in free. It's $6.95 flat rate shipping in the continental United States. And if you purchase $99 worth of merchandise, shipping's free. 
So go ahead and give yourself a little treat there and then let me know what you think. Just give me a leave a comment for me in the comments section and that'd be great. Okay, time for a little micro tour of my friend Lisa's little sketchbook. Okay, this is we're gonna take a look at Lisa's little sketchbook. Alright, let's see. Let's get right in there. Nice. This is my happy place. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. I started this back on December 28th. Yeah. Okay. It's not my monkey. I like it. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? I don't know. What did it say? Random <laughs> things. Uh, Random things. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right. What's next? And nine. Grateful, comfortable now. I like it. Okay. Curious and curious, sir. Nice. Got it. Oh, now we're getting into. Oh, that's Ken. Yeah, there's Kiki. Twin Cities uh, artist and Kiki. Yeah. So, how do you say her last name? So. I've never pronounced her name. Yeah. No, I know her. Serena. And who was it? Who else is oh, this? Oh, that was that was Mary. Mary, okay. Yeah, Mary. And is this where you put your you got your lists? You know, I kind of use it for whatever I have going on at that day. Sometimes it's just to catch my brain. Okay. Sometimes it's just fun to make lines and color them in, isn't it? I think so. I think it's therapeutic. That was a seminar that I was at, and I was just writing down things that like struck me as they spoke. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Lower t farmers market. Yeah. Farmers market after hours. I recognize that. And these are these are peeps. Well, you know. Representational <laughs> peeps. <laughs> and that's today. Oh, that's today. Oh, look at the the the, the, the yeah orange rinds. Yay! I like it. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about sketching? Uh, I don't have to ask somebody's permission. That's right. Look at this. You've got I a ways to go. I still got some room. I got yeah. that much left. So it's a, like an accordion book. Yeah. yeah. And hey. I did make this myself. Hey, that's pretty cool. And even the little metal. Yep, I put little. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I love it. Yes, I do love it. This is Jane. Say hi. <laughs> You're going to be in my video now. Yeah, that's right. that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Lisa. Marty. Yeah, good tour. Hi, Jane. Hi, I was trying not to talk so much. <laughs> no? <laughs> good, thing, good to good see you guys. Do you want to be in it? No. <laughs> hey, don't forget to comment. I love to hear from you guys. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I love to hear from you, um, and I hope you're doing well. So long, everybody. This is Marty for OwingsArt.com. Don't forget to check out oingsart.com.